Today you are going to be making an abstract landscape using tissue paper and a spray bottle. The very first step, and you want to make sure that none of the water gets onto your tissue paper, the very first step is to spray a thin layer of water onto your artwork. You want to hold your spray bottle about six inches above your paper. If you get it too close, it'll make a big puddle and it won't work very well. So evenly spray a little bit of water all the way around your paper and then you can start thinking about what colors you want to use for your landscape. You want to start at the top and then work your way down to the bottom. Because it's an abstract landscape, the colors do not have to be realistic. So I'm going to make my sky purple. And I think I'm going to start by just tearing a straight line. And then you want to set that paper right on top. And you want the paper to go off the edge of your artwork and you also want to make sure that it is flat. There might be a few little wrinkles but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to continue with my sky using maybe some orange. And for this next layer of the sky I'm going to tear smaller pieces so that I get a little bit of a texture. Whenever you put a piece of paper down, you want to make sure that it is um, overlapping. So you don't want to see any of the white paper showing through because the tissue paper is going to leave a little bit of white because it's not all going to stick to your paper. So you want to make sure that at least at the very beginning, every single part is covered. So I'm overlapping my red paper. Once you have a part that's overlapped, you can go ahead and give that just a little bit of extra water so that it lays flat. Now I'm thinking for my landscape, I might do some mountains. You don't have to do mountains. You could do other things that you would see in nature. You could do trees or rocks or a pond or really anything that you can imagine. For my mountains, I'm going to do blue. And I'm going to start tearing that paper into more of a mountain shape. And you might take away little pieces of the paper. You don't have to keep every piece. You can throw them into the trash can at your table if it's not the size or the shape that you wanted it to be. So I'm still making sure that my paper overlaps and whenever two colors touch each other those two colors will kind of mix and it'll make another interesting color. I'm going to continue with one last little mountain on the side. I think I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to go back. I've covered up all of my white spaces. I'm going to go back and I'm going to spray another just a little bit. You don't want to spray too much water or it's going to become a big like puddle. So just a little bit of water until it lays flat. And then I'm thinking for the bottom part, I might do... Um, some yellow. To represent like the grass. And I'm going to do, I'm going to start by doing a long tear. And then you can take that piece and tear it into smaller pieces if you would like to. You can do more than one color for a certain part of your artwork. And remember, this is going to be abstract, so we're being inspired by the idea of a landscape. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly like a landscape. And then at the end, I'm going to give that bottom part one last little spray. And if I see any other parts that are sticking up, I'm going to give that another little spray and gently kind of pat them down. 
When you are finished, you wanna check for two things. You wanna double check that there are no white spaces. And then you also wanna check and make sure that when you pick up your artwork, there are no drips coming off the side. If there's water dripping off of your paper, you need to set it right back down on the table and then you need to get a paper towel and carefully dry off any puddles. When you're finished and your paper is drip free, you're gonna walk it to the drying rack, leave the tissue paper on your artwork so that when it dries, the color can soak in, and we will take the tissue paper off and see the artwork underneath next time you come to art.